today, I figured since I have my hair in these twists, oh, just so you know, I'm freezing. And when I'm freezing, I um, put on my bear robe that people who watch my vlog know all about. I love this robe. It is so warm and it's freezing, or at least I'm cold. It's probably not freezing, but it's chilly. Okay, it's bear robe chilly. Anyway, um, I figured since I was, um, I had my hair in my twist, I, I think today is a good day to talk about protective styling. Um, now, what I know the definition of um, protective styling is just things, hairstyles that it either are low or no manipulation. To me, there are two types of protective styling. There's long-term protective, protective styling and short-term protective styling. And for me, I believe in short-term protective styling. I'm not a big proponent of like wearing my hair in braids um, for weeks on end and things like that. I need to be able to comb my hair. That is just, has always been my thing. That's why I've never had braids or weaves or anything like that because I need to be able to comb my hair every day. If I wanna pull out my hair right now and comb it, I should be able to do that. And so for me, long-term protective styling doesn't work. However, short-term protective styling is what I've been doing lately, especially since I've been home with um, my broken leg. I don't go out much. And then even when I do, to be honest with you, I just leave my, I, sometimes I walk out with these on. Um, and obviously I protective style every night. These are basically the kind of twists that I would wear every night um, to keep my hair from tangling. Because, and it's funny because a lot of people that don't really understand natural hair think that the twists are what give you curly hair. Twists don't give you curly hair. They give you a twist. <laughs> So, you know, that's why if you want a really bomb twist out, wear, you know, twist. But if you want curly hair, you don't get curly hair from twist. Um, but what twists do for me is um, protect, prevent my hair from tangling on itself. Because if you don't manipulate it to a point where it twists in a kind of uniform way, it'll just start to tangle up. And that's why sometimes I don't do twists and I just put a bonnet on my hair. And my hair is always a mess the next day um but you know whatever <laughs> i'm just babbling on about that but um like i said i do believe in short-term protective styling just kind of to you know kind of keep your hair from tangling on itself but you don't necessarily want to do it i've had these twists in about two days now two or three days and i've had my hair in twists very every day for the last um, week or so. And it'll be, I'll probably wash my hair this weekend. Really, Ella? And that's just a light, that's just the light snore. The, it's so funny. But as long as she's not getting loud, it's okay. But anyway, so, um, as far as what protective styling is that I do, I believe, I definitely believe in low manipulation though. And for me, low manipulate during the week, I basically do um, my defined twist out. And every night I just twist up my hair more for the stretching and the um, kind of organization to it than um, for the actual twist out. And I find that actually some days I need to go back, maybe usually by Wednesday, I need to go back and um, Put a lot of I usually use some type of curling cream to kind of reset the curls because if not it'll just become too straight with just the, the plain twist so that's it I don't really do anything else I used to when I was relaxed I used to do buns all the time I've done a few buns since I've been um, natural but to be honest with you I don't really like them as much on my hair now I don't know why I just don't like them as much. I figure once my hair is longer, maybe I'll like them. But for right now, I don't. I don't really like buns in my hair. 
Um, I don't even do any kind of real organization to it. I just kind of grab a piece of hair and I make it small enough. Usually why I do start out with twists is just to get my hair to dry um, after I define my curls. And I think I did a video on my define twist out. Um, but I will probably do another one before the month is out. And I'll just show you, you know, basically how I do my hair. I try to make the twist big enough um, that I don't have to have a whole bunch of them around my head, but still small enough that they actually dry. Um, and then throughout the week, since I haven't been leaving home very much, um, I usually just leave them in and I take them out when I'm going out and I feel like taking them out. But usually I only, I let them dry in my twists and then once the hair is dry, then I take it out. And then I just, you know, fluff out my hair and that's it. And then every night I twist up my hair, just again, just grabbing pieces. I don't have any kind of real organization to it in terms of like parts and things like that. And I find that when you actually finger part your hair, it actually looks better than when you, um, you um, do a hard part with a comb. So that is today's ramble about um, protective styling. There's, you know, obviously there's a lot of people who do a lot of long-term protective styling, especially in the winter. I find a lot of people do wigs and weaves and things like that. The most I'll probably do if I do anything is a bun only because it makes putting on hats easier. Um, that's always been, that has been my challenge um, with um, being natural is hats because I have great hats. All these really cute winter hats that I can't really wear because they're not that kind of, you know, bonnet hat. They're like these formed hats. Like I should show you some of them. Like I've got this cool Kango. I got that. It just doesn't look, it, it just squashes my hair. So I got to figure out what to do with my hair um, this winter. That's it. I'm definitely going to bed now. Ella's getting louder as you could hear. Really. So it's definitely time to go to bed. So, <laughs> see you tomorrow. Bye.